one. My speech is a little longer than um, Harriet, so I'm just going to go through it. Um, good evening, everyone. My thanks go out to the Olympic Club for doing such an amazing job organizing this special award ceremony. I'd also like to extend my congratulations to Mackenzie Barr and Brigetta Games for their nomination outstanding performance during the 2016 season. You're both incredible athletes, and I'm honored to have played both against and with you. I'd further like to thank the committee for selecting me as their year's Peter Coutinho Awards recipient. After the indescribable amount of discipline and hard work my teammates and I put into the season, it is a remarkable feeling to be standing before you today and have the 6 a.m. workouts, swift filled week sessions, and endless afternoon practices be recognized in such a monumental way. I'm extremely honored to be accepting this award not only on my behalf, but on the behalf of each of my teammates. As the term Trojan family suggests, my teammates really are my sisters, and without their continual love and support, I would not be standing here today. It took the entire team to win C2A's undefeated decision. So this award is not only for me, but also for each one of them. Thank you for your commitment to the season and keeping my spirits high when fights have got tough. My love for all of you is what got me here this season. I first want to thank USC and the Trojan family for being my home, away from home, especially during the holidays. I want to especially thank the Fahey family for taking my family and I into their home this weekend without a second thought. I also want to thank the Godmansons, the D'Ambra, the Mercados, and the Welsh family for opening their homes to us and letting, letting us be part of their family. I would like to thank Pat Hayden for all the hard work he has done for all student athletes. The athletic community has made my year at USC amazing, and I want to thank you for all the memories that I will keep and pass on. Since starting at USC, many lessons have had a major impact on how I view the sport. Discipline, perse perseverance, and love for the sport can all combine and act as a pathway to success for a team. But when it comes down to it, the difference between a win and a loss relies on your ability to not play for yourself, but the people playing beside you and those that helped you get there. With that being said, there are a lot of other people I would like to thank, starting with the USC's coaching staff. No matter how long I've spent with them, their patience and guidance to make me a better player in person have shaped me into the person standing before you today. I've learned so much from each one of these phenomenal coaches and I'm lucky to have had the chance to be coached by them. So this thank you goes to Johan Bavik, Marco Pintarek, Casey Moon, Stefan Ludicky, Sandra Kiss, and Abel Ivanovic. They have given my teammates and I the knowledge and strength to succeed both in the pool and everyday life. I would like to thank four people who act as the glue to US, to USC's team, uh, to holding USC teams together. First, our athletic trainer, Tandy Olson. I would not have words to describe how wonderful this woman is. She's an incredible trainer who is also there for me, for, who is always there for athletes. I sent an injury this year that kept me out of the water for three months. Sandy made me in her, made it her mission to work with me every day and nurse me back to good health. She gave me strength and hope when I was down. I would definitely not be here if it weren't for her. Next, I'd like to thank our strength coach, Tim Ojeda, who pushes us to become stronger, both physically and mentally. Garbo, whose master massage to make sure our sore muscles can handle the constant stress practice put on them. And lastly, Darcy Couch, for handling our UC media coverage, dedicating a majority of her time to make her water full of make water polo popular within the community, since a good amount of people do not know what water polo is. I would, like, I would now like to thank my sisters, Anastasia, for always being there for me, supporting me, and my twin sister, Yana, who also happens to be a fellow Trojan and one of my teammates. I spend every day with her, and she constantly shows me her love and support. On my bad day, she always makes me laugh, I don't know, know what I would do without, without either of them in my life, so thank you and I love you both. I would also like to thank my two best friends, Nicola Welch and Michelle McCarter, for always being there for me throughout my time at USC. I love you. The one person I want to thank the most tonight is my mother. The strong woman right there has always been there for me, no matter what. She was good for my sister and I helping me also keep us strong. Drive us to practice where she would stay until it was time for her to take us home. And also drive us to every single game where she was easily our biggest and best fan. From day one, she has been my rock. 
She committed her whole life to us, our success, so I want to thank her. I love you, Mom. Thank you very much, and fight on.